Not a fan of Valentine's Day, I see. <laughs> hey. Hi. So, are you meeting Dante here? Oh, I wish. He's searching for Maxie and Peter. Oh, I heard he took her hostage. It's awful. That sums Peter up in a nutshell. Yes, I awful. really hope they find that guy. Yeah, me too. So? So, what? Well, judging from the napkin, I don't think I really have to ask, but I'm gonna have to ask anyway. How did things go with you and Sunny last night? I walked in on him in bed with Nina. Sunny gave excuse after excuse of why they fell in bed together. As if there's any plausible way to make that okay. Sunny's still in love with Nina and clearly feels compelled to act on those feelings. <sighs> I am so sorry. I'm not. I'm not seeing them together gave me the clarity that I needed. I mean, I've been wrestling for months with moving forward, if it was even possible. Now I have my answer. It's no, by the way. No, I figured. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna sit around why Sunny prioritizes the woman who destroyed our family. You shouldn't. No, hell no. I mean, I'm gonna move forward. I am. My assistant is calling a divorce attorney as we speak. Divorce? Carly, that's necessary. I, I was gonna say more like fast. Are you sure you're making the right move? The sooner I put this mess behind me, the better. I really need to get on with my life. Okay, and that is a, a natural reaction, completely. It's, it's healthy, even. When something hurts, you wanna get as far away from it as possible. Hurts? The image of Nina and Sunny to get to bed. I mean, it's torture. If, okay, either way, the place that you're in is not the place that you should be making decisions from. Just take a second, a minute, days even, to process what this means for you and your family before you put something in the motion that you can't take back. Okay, I'm gonna give you some privacy. 